Is your Dollar Tree not that great? You need to watch this video. This store needs some help. Some of you seem to think I have a magical Dollar Tree. I can promise you I don't. A lot of these stores have just like boxes everywhere and it's really hard to see what's available and there's only a few things on the shelf. I get you. It's like thrifting though. It's kind of like the thrill of the hunt. You know what I mean? You can. I promise you can find good things. Let's keep looking. And here are easy ways you can find the best deals in whatever store you're in. There are a lot of empty shelves in this store, but every Dollar Tree now has a crafter's square, every single one in the country, which means you can find a lot of amazing craft supplies. Right now, ribbon is out in so many stores. I found in almost every store, the wood supplies are really great as well. And don't forget to check out the wreath supplies. You can get square wreaths and they even have round hoop wreaths now. And some of the more picked over stores is where you find a lot of the gems. I think YouTuber Catherine might need to take that home. This spot is pretty picked over, but I want to see if they have any really beautiful candles. This would make an amazing little fall display. These are big and beautiful and they glow so well once you get the flame inside. Love it. If your store looks like this, my next tip is to shop in advance. And don't worry, the Dollar Tree gets two waves of fall items every year to the store. Right now is the fall preview. And here's some things I want you to keep your eyes out for. They have these really adorable gray pumpkins. They have white pumpkins. They even have pine cones and acorns. But the florals, they have knocked out of the park. I can't wait to make centerpieces with them. And this store, though it doesn't have a lot, does have some of these. They have pumpkins built inside. They have a blue, but, 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 even better. They have white. Look how neutral and stunning this is. I can't wait to work with it. I love how this wreath turned out. I added a mini birdhouse to it from Dollar Tree also. It looks so high end. Are you ready for Catherine's super secret hack? These Crafter Square sponge brushes are awesome, but you wanna know what's the best place to get them? The auto section, because you get eight instead of six for the same price. brand new in the kitchen section right now are these utensils. They look like marble and are so elegant. And do you want to know what else they have? Marble plates. I haven't seen anything like this before. The old ones were plastic and you guys know the traditional tiered stand DIY. You can do with plates and a candlestick. This looks so elegant. It's just three dollars. I can't believe they had this here. My friends, even in a picked over store, I want you to check out the end caps. Right now, there are so many name brand products. This eyeshadow palette is $1. And they even have e.l.f. products. Now, these are gonna roll out at different times of the year. It's not always gonna be the same. But even in a small and picked over store, I promise those gems are there. Even in this store, they have these Barbasol ear and nose trimmers, and they even have the Pure Silk Razors. These are great deals. This cleaning aisle is pretty picked over, but that doesn't mean you can't find great products. Every Dollar Tree typically has Suavitel in stock. Here's a great hack. You can cut down sponges, which are also in stock at every Dollar Tree, and put this in a container, and this makes a great dryer sheet substitute. Just stick this right into your dryer. It will make your clothes smell so fresh. Leave me a comment down below with your favorite scent. And oh my goodness, just because this store doesn't have a lot, they do have the daily shower cleaner here. This is a method knockoff and I have been needing to try it. It says it has a fresh scent, let me smell. These drain rooters are a 10 out of 10 product and retail for seven to $10 in other stores. There's a boa in the cleaning aisle. I mean, 
one never knows when you need a boa. So every Dollar Tree carries these. And y'all, I don't use this in my kitchen. I actually use this to clean my sink. It does a really good job of getting in between on the faucets. I love it. This organizing section is very candy filled. <gasps> but there are some gems. They have the metal baskets here. They have my favorite easy three packs. So don't discount the smaller stores. And, and, and around the corner, they have all of the new colors of bins. Sometimes you just hit the jackpot. I love when they get the neutral bins in. Y'all, these are the best. They stack so well and the size is my fave. Are you guys, are you guys having fun? I hope so. This video seems like kind of spontaneous, but I really wanted to do it. This is a little bit confusing. Someone got hungry. Random boxes, random trash. So here is my secret in small stores. You wanna shop the upcoming season because that is when the stock is going to be the best. Though this store is lacking in some other areas, the back to school section is amazing right now. And there's actually, hold on, there's actually products that were not at my good Dollar Tree that are in this store. Check it out. These products are amazing. This expanding document case, they also have these mini ones. These are great for coupons inside of your car so you don't lose them. Because how many times have you forgot them at home? I do a lot. Do you ever walk by products at Dollar Tree and think to yourself, is that even good? Is it worth my dollar? What I like to do is go online and see what rating the product has. This nightlight is so much more money in other stores. It has a great rating on Dollar Tree's website. So I know it's a score. I'm gonna scoot you this way because guess what else the Dollar Tree always has? Tons of car supplies and they have name brand products that rotate throughout the store. The air fresheners I get almost every time I'm in. Products that should be way more in other stores. This past year, I got to be on Good Morning America a few times, which was so fun. And if you follow my Instagram, you know that I was at the beach when they first called me. And so at the smallest Dollar Tree, it was literally the world's smallest Dollar Tree, I had to come up with some organizing ideas. And here's something the Dollar Tree always has, napkin holders and zip ties. If you, my friend, have not yet done this DIY, you need to. It is so awesome as a charging station. Make sure you do it. And you've got a really great charging station that's not gonna topple over. This holds iPads and computers great. This is perfect for my kids. Wow. All right, Catherine, you've given us some great weekend projects. If you enjoyed this video, would you leave it a big thumbs up that lets me know you want more content just like this. If nobody has told you today, you are enough and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you guys soon, bye. My first tip is that <laughs> Ooh, actually. You you sound like me and my husband. He's always laughing at me. So <laughs> I probably deserve it though. So <laughs> you guys have a good day. <laughs> Thank you.